Today's video is a tutorial entirely about motocross boots. If you were going to ask any of us at Brake Magazine for advice on boots, especially to do with adventure riding, the kind of riding where you're pushing your limits, where you're out away from civilization, where you're on the edge of your comfort zone, whether that's technically or just spatially, we're all going to say the same thing. We're all going to tell you that we think you should be wearing motocross boots. To understand why we love wearing motocross boots so much, you need to understand where motocross boots have come from and how they've ended up the way they are. Motocross is the most brutal sport. It's full of huge impacts, close, unbelievably close racing, and savage opportunity for hurting yourself. Motocross is an old sport. It's been around for a long time, and throughout its life cycle of development, boots have gone from real basic, gentle leather items that were pliable and soft to these incredible constructions made with TPU and loads of really clever materials in the soles and strength and steel shanks, shin protection, ankle protection, flexion in the right directions and not in the wrong directions. They are unbelievable. <laughs> They specialize in keeping your leg together even in the worst scenarios. When you have a crash, when you drop your bike on your leg, when you stab your foot into the ground at 40 miles an hour, they are designed with one sole purpose and that is to keep you, the rider, from harm. Now you might say, but I ride adventure bikes. What's that got to do with me? And this is the point. It has everything to do with you. You see, adventure riding is about pushing your limits. It's about being in the middle of nowhere. It's about seeing how far you can get, how far away from civilization you can be. It's about getting your bike into the places where other people just don't go. And when you're in that environment, you're at your most vulnerable. Look at that. Oh, you are beautiful now. I don't know how anyone ever turned you down. No problem. <laughs> Inherently, we all want to get off the beaten path. We all, as adventure riders, want to see if we can get to the top of that hill, if we can ride this trail out in the middle of nowhere. And whenever you do that, you put yourself at risk. There's nothing wrong with going out into the wilds. That's the whole point. The point is to get away. The point is to experience nature and the world and see the things that other people might not see. Just like you wouldn't ride into a rainstorm without a raincoat, should you really ride into somewhere that's really difficult without the right boots on? Just like you wouldn't ride up a mountain in a set of slippers, or you wouldn't climb Everest in bare feet, you probably shouldn't be riding your adventure bike into the wilderness in adventure boots. The truth is, they just don't cut the mustard. They don't have the strength, they don't have the support to deal with your 200 kilo F800 GS falling on your leg. This isn't a rant about adventure boots not being great boots, or not having a place in our world. They do, they absolutely do. Adventure boots are awesome, awesome products. They're waterproof, they're comfortable, you can ride in them all day long. But what they don't do is provide the necessary support for riding proper off-road terrain. <laughs> branded adventure are designed to predominantly sit on the road. They're 85% road boots, 15% gravel trail, well within your comfort zone boots. They're not boots for pushing your limit. They're not boots for learning. They're not the kind of boots that you can make a mistake in. They're the kind of boots you need to be so within your comfort zone in that you can't be worried. Now, 
I accept that the difference between an adventure boot and a motocross boot in terms of your initial feel and your out the box comfort, if you haven't worn motocross boots, is difficult. They're not easy to get on with when you first start wearing them. But it's one of those things, you've got to give it a go and you've got to accept that it's going to take time. Everything that a motocross boot is good at, there's a few things they simply don't cover. First up, you're never gonna find a motocross boot that's waterproof. They just don't exist. They don't exist because when you ride motocross, you don't need a waterproof boot. Nobody's really worried about being waterproof. That means you gotta find your waterproof socks, maybe some sail skins. I'll chuck a link in the description below. Secondly, they're gonna feel stiff, and clumsy and just super awkward when you first start wearing them. You've got to accept that. Five rides in, they're gonna feel completely different. You're gonna know how to change gear. You're gonna be able to feel the back brake, but you have to have that time period of transition to get to where you wanna be. Now the real key to getting on with motocross boots is finding the right pair. Every one of us at the magazine is completely different. We have different shaped feet and we've all got boots that we love and boots that we don't like. <laughs> Here we see him. He's a nail hawker in his natural habitat. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza. When you find that amazing, comfortable pair of boots, I promise you, all the issues that you might have had with a lack of comfort and a lack of feel, they disappear because they're just not there. Great motocross boot has incredible feel through the sole. It might not be as good as a road boot, but you can definitely still feel everything. Now, the last thing I hear people say about adventure boots on a regular basis is that they love them because they can walk in them, they can be tourists in them. And if you find a great pair of motocross boots, you can be that as well. Point is, when you get a good pair, a comfortable pair of boots, I'm more than happy to be a tourist in them. If I stop somewhere and I wanna go and look around a castle or I wanna walk to the top of a hill, I'm happy to do it. I'm as happy in my motocross boots that fit me well as I am in the adventure boots that fit me well or the road boots that fit me well. So let us know, what do you think? What do you think of this video? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? What boots do you wear? Have you struggled with MX boots in the past? Is this something you'd never even considered? Let us know in the comments. Send us a message on Twitter, Instagram, hit us up, head over to Break Magazine and check out some of our great items some of our great yeah, some of our great articles hit that like button if you like this video subscribe for some more awesome content coming in the next week at the moment we're posting every single day and uh and remember life's better when you're riding motocross boots aren't too heavy you can go touring you can go walking around mountains <laughs> you can do all sorts <laughs> See, fat people can bounce around.